Okay. One more. This is a this is a message from Amanda. Okay. I can't take the double dip. No, I hear you. This is different though. This okay. is from Amanda. Okay. Amanda watches the vlog and she said. She's like, what happened to Phil? He's all nice and he's not annoyed. She said she liked you better when you're a little bit of a dick. Okay, I'll, I'll work on that. You work on it because look, he's, even how he said that. Okay, I'll, I'll work on it. She's like, oh, it's fine. I don't mind. It's okay. I'll, I'll make any adjustment for her. Oh, <laughs> what a fig you are! Naughty, naughty. That's better. She likes that better. <laughs> work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I. What are you finding in there, bud? Huh? What do you what do you what do you got going on down there? Huh? A little leftover dinner? Some some treat snack on your foot? How about you, buddy? You chilling? Oh yeah. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Slobbery. Good boy. What's on your face? Is that from him? Licking your face? Good boy. Well, good morning, everyone. We are having our coffee in our favorite mug this morning. Mm. Um, slept in. Didn't wake up till 12.15, which is good because we needed sleep. But, but, unfortunately, we missed some important festivities, which I wanted to share with you some cool things about what we're doing with GG Poker and the World Series of Poker. Okay? Well, two separate things. One... You'll see it. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll give you a link to the um, press conference stuff, but announce the World Series of Poker Party, which is going to be a blasty blast, right? And in addition to that, we've added a couple new faces to the roster. Two cool dudes that I go way back with that are hard workers and know what's up. I would like to announce our two new ambassadors, the voice of GG Poker, Jeff Gross, and our media ambassador, Ali Najad. No, it's, a, it's an honor. I know that GG is the largest poker site in the world. It is the leader in innovation, product development, and content now is a main focus. That's something I'm very, very passionate about, it's something I love. Um, you know, I don't want to give away too much, but there's a lot of innovative, short content coming, and I'm going to be uh, active and in, in daily working on that and, and moving forward. So it's really exciting. For me, my choice to partner with GG is very much uh, in line with the fact that entertainment, I think, comes front and center. It's not simply about, uh, you know, creating the best poker software, which clearly they are efforting and endeavoring to do. Let's push the envelope, uh, you know, let's stir the pot a little bit, let's be different, let's innovate. First and foremost, Jeff Gross does it all, man. Podcast extraordinaire, streamer, commentator, he does it all. And JG on the team, good to have you, my brother. And as well as, we have the dude, the dude with the best vocabulary in all of poker, man. He uses words I have to look up, but I love it because it sounds cool when he says it. The absolute goat of the industry, Ali Najad, joining us on Team GG. So there was a little press conference this morning that I was supposed to make, and uh, I slept in. I just slept. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's tough to grind during the World Series of Poker. Thankfully, they, you know, they understood and uh, I got work to do here. We're in a hole right now, as you can see. Mm, you know, when you think about the number of buy-ins, it's not that much, but because the buy-ins are big, it sounds like a big number, um, you know? But listen, this is the stakes we play, right? You know, you win a million, you could lose a million. You, you go, go both ways. Today is a good tournament for me. It's just a seven triple draw. Quite good at this game, so. One other thing we wanted to address is some of you are misunderstanding my schedule and how I choose when to start show up, okay? I said it very clearly at the beginning, so I'm going to tell you again. For all the big events, 10K and above, my plan is always to show up right on time and play them to the inter eternity. For the $1,500 small stuff, that's where I will register about an hour or two before late reg finishes, so typically level six or seven or something in that neighborhood. However... When I'm fatigued beyond belief and I'm very, very tired and I need to catch up on rest, sometimes, like in the PLO, when we start with 600 bigs, it's worth, you know, getting an extra hour or two of sleep, okay? Especially in the limit tournaments. Like, I'm going to play this triple drawn time because I love it, 
but it's not a lot of value. Like the first two levels are meaningless. You know, you play 500, 1,000, you get like, I don't know, way too many bets. So it's really just about getting your feet wet. So when you're playing, here's the thing. When you're playing, why would you ever not show up on time? When you play seven weeks every single day, right? You need to be cognizant of the fact that sometimes rest must prioritize those early levels, okay? So as I said, for all the big ones, I plan to always go right on time with few exceptions when I'm fatigued or obviously when I'm at another event and then need, you know, uh, a little bit of time in between. But today, triple draw. Well, shit. Okay, it's 145. Starts at three. Inhale this coffee. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not going to pressure myself. I said this. I'm relaxing. I just woke up. I got a good night's sleep. I'll go when I'm ready. So maybe about four. You can do it. What? I'm not turning the camera on. It's not on. I'm just saying, you look fine. <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't turn it on. What are you doing anyway? See, I just woke up again <laughs> every day. Can okay. you imagine people <laughs> being woken up every day with a fucking camera in your face? So you like the guy's shirt and the Balen Balen Balenciaga Baga. Balenciaga shirt? Yeah, the guy with the, the holes in it. Yeah, so what I don't get is you... um. You like pants with holes in them. That's a like style. No, right? no, it's fine. I just don't get how it's eight hundred dollars when you. Just fucking... because it has a hole. Yes. So you couldn't pay for jeans that are eight hundred dollars if they had a hole. Well, but the fuck? Why? What's the difference? I'm just saying. I have I jeans know. with holes. That are, that's the thing. It's a you, thing. I don't know. You're. I'm. I'm, I'm not buying into the ball and saga. You're just like eighty-seven happening. years. Okay, what are you doing right now? You're watching my vlog. I was and under here. And watching you were laughing. Your, I was watching. You're laughing at me, or you're laughing at fucking the my, shirt. At me. Huh? No. <laughs> Okay. laughing at myself well you look comfy no, in there i was laughing at you okay because well, you said something really funny what did i say the guy came up in the hallway with the shirt on oh yeah and you go oh my god is it andrew yeah and i died laughing that was good okay andrew all right so guess what i'm gonna go play triple draw it's time huh yep you can take that bracelet off uh <laughs> the power of the obsidian this is dragon glass you know that right no it's the same shit as dragon glass never heard of it Dragon Glass oh, from yeah, fucking heard, Game of Thrones. I didn't know it was the same thing. I don't yeah, know. Obsidian. Okay. All right, well, hey, you have a great day. Okay, I'm getting up. And, and somebody on uh, the comments was saying I should give you more than 30 minutes a week outside. I should I should go outside more than that. And no, I think I'm going to be generous, and I think I'm because I'm a reasonable person. Yeah. You can, you're allowed out for an hour. Thank a you. Week. A Thank week. Thank you. Okay. Do I need I to put my leash on? Your leash? No, well, I mean, you just need to stay within the vicinity and keep your ankle bracelet on. Okay, so I know it. exactly where you're at. Got it, got okay. it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Because I'm the devil who's searching for redemption. I'm a lawyer who's searching for redemption. And I'm a killer who's searching for redemption. And there's a little mix they got. Minor Skin and uh, Iggy Pop, I guess. Who's got a real deep voice. And he's like, because I'm, so, I'm the devil. And they do a mashup. It's really cool. Or, you know, whatever. I love it. Let's go, Minor Skin. New day. We gotta keep on fighting, guys. We gotta keep on fighting. Boom, boom. We're out of red. Because that's what happens. No, we're out of red. It's okay. One, we hit one, right? One out of 15. It's pretty impressive, actually, when you think about it. One out of 15. All right, guys, today, deuce to seven triple draw. As I said, quite good at this game. I wrote the chapter in Super System 2. Um, for Doyle Brunson's book on deuce to seven and ace to five triple draw. And basically, for the most part, I learned the game from John Jawanda. You know, first time I played with him, he's like, what are you doing? And he knew. I think he's the first one to really learn how to play the game at a high level. And he taught me some key things. And uh, I shared that in the book. And I also did a video, how to play deuce to seven triple draw and what whatnot, which you can find over there. So, um, so yeah, um, so a couple key concepts, obviously, because it's just a seven, you know, what the most important card by a mile is a deuce, right? So general idea, general principle is don't leave, don't leave home without a deuce. You can, obviously, some certain hands, like three, four, eight, um, you know, you don't really want to be drawing, starting to draw with like an eight, six, three, you want an eight, five, or eight, four better. Anyway, I list all the hands and, you know, the hand rankings and different things. And there's other things too. There's bluffing in this game. There's a lot of information available to you based on discards and stuff. So you are going to do what's called snowing in triple draw, which is staying pat with a bad hand, like a pair, which isn't good. You want to make deuce three, four, five, seven. So why and when would you do that? Well, you do that in spots, maybe where you have like a rough draw, 
or you're not drawing that good anyway, and you know your opponent's drawing better, but you've paired like some key cards. Let's say you had, for example, you know, two eights, two sixes, two fours. Well, those are all cards your opponent might need, right? It probably doesn't have. So maybe, you know, you stay pat, like on a previous draw, before, like with draws left, and just go, okay, I'm gonna hold these, and then bet it out, and then if your opponent misses, they often just fold. Now that's the basic snow. There's a lot more advanced, different types of snows and things like that. Um, yeah, and the game, you know, it plays a little like limit hold'em in that, you know, you, you want a three betting position and you want to be three betting your good two card draws. You know, deuce three seven, deuce four seven, deuce five seven, not three four seven. You don't want three four seven, five six seven, four five six, that kind of shit, because then it's very difficult. You need to catch a deuce, must, otherwise you can't make you know, a really strong hand. So yeah, have a deuce, do the three betting thing. We're going to show up right on time for this thing, even though it's crazy small stakes, you know, get a feel for what my opponents are doing, pick up on some things, and uh, ready to go. New day, we fight on. You know I got your number, number all night. I'm always on your team, I got your back, Welcome to the table. I didn't see that. Welcome to the table. 86. One doctor. How do you have a four? I have three fours. Well, there's one left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one in the deck. Simple man. Can't take your hand All right, we are here on time arrival. And look who's here! Look at that hoodie, buddy. Am it I suits you. Am I, am I, I love it. Now? So tell the people, what's your, what are you doing? I GG. am, uh, All along things with GG. Jeff Gross, uh, being the voice of GG Poker, I am the media ambassador now. Ooh, big words. You and I are going to be working on the muck along with David Williams and Brent love Hanks, it. that like halftime show that we did for WSOPE. That was fun. And then uh, on top of that, Poker After Dark's going to get uh, yeah, a little buddy. overhaul. And then I've got a whole sandbox of uh, creative. A sandbox. Creative uh, types that are looking to do some other stuff as well so it should be right. fun looks good how did he go slanted like that is that the new hoodie uh, no this is the new oh do you not have i one? love i gotta get one of those yeah, yeah, you don't i got my own but it's like okay no, I get, you're a how, how come up. i don't get the upgrades how much did that one cost you Listen, buddy, you would have had to make it this was <laughs> you know what they're probably taking it out of my check and i don't know it isn't that how they do that <laughs> yeah like yeah, yeah no we'll get the like, no, no, oh, the 65 we'll get, yeah, no, the limo, you bought a, the airport you bought a hoodie yeah you didn't know that wait what's this bill that i just got good looking to deuce buddy all right buddy all right Correct. Huh? I, I owe a thousand. Oh boy! Here we go. What's bothering you today, Alan? What's bothering you today, Alan? I, I skipped two events yesterday because I made day two of that stupid win. Well, I was calling you. That bothered you? The fact that you, you made a day two? Well, I have cash in three straight. All the deuces. Uh, most likely you're just. <laughs> Who's saying this? People who don't cash, right? You look up their head and mob and you tell them. Yes. That's what's Wait, up. Don't stiff for the thousand. I just um, All right. There's no Good luck. Get all the points for it. Making his Ollie like return <laughs> to the game. My man is off the COVID IR. We are off the COVID. And he's back in business, we're ready for some business. triple dipple zipple. No, actually, we're stacking a lot of chips and PLO. Oh, we'll do that then. Yeah, yeah. go get some of we're that. Doing that. All right. Hi, Christy and Andrew. It's been a long time. So, this is my ex wife, Christy, from Havasu Lake. This is my son, Andrew. You're 15 today, right? Yes, of course. Good to see you. Sorry about that, Harley, because I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. You know, you abandoned us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and who's this? Is my other son? Your uncle. Uncle? Oh, <laughs> I, I, or I'm the one that told you to call him Uncle we Dan. We came to see you for his 21st birthday. Yeah. Oh, well, happy birthday, dude. This let's do a picture. This is the only reason we came. Okay, let's do a picture. Can we? Can we? Yeah. I mean, it would need. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Who are you people? You guys from Havasu Lake? No? Where are y'all from? Colorado. Where? Colorado. Colorado. You Avalanche fans? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. So what are we doing? Are we doing pictures? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All let's the, do all pictures. The family asked and you too? Huh? Come and meet the pros. And I told them if anybody you want to meet, we'll meet Daniel and Vanya in this right. event. So we'll make it happen. Okay. Picture time. All right. Off the first break all of right. the day. So far, so good. Best start I've had. In any of these What's up, buddy? Best start I've had. I've got ninety-three thousand up from sixty after two levels. Made a lot of hands, made some eights, made some sevens, made some things and that, some lots. 
And I did run one bluff that I'll tell you about, which is a pretty, uh, this is a pretty no brainer just the way that I chose to play it. I think is a little unique because unique and creative in the sense of how I chose to play. But it was dealt deuce, 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 jack nine. It's bad, right? But you got three deuces. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Walk with me. And for Costa Rica, look at oh, this. Oh, nice. Very Tonight, nice. Pura vida, pura vida. We, we qualify for the World Cup today. All right. Pura vida. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Imperial. I like that beer. <laughs> yeah, it's Imperial. Okay. I hope she didn't leave. Good luck, man. Thank you, buddy. All right. So, deuce, deuce, deuce. Jack nine. Raise and John Monet defends a big blind. Now, he draws two. So, what do you do? Do you stay pat? Suspicious. You draw one. You draw two. You draw three. You draw four. I chose to draw two. You draw two, and that looks like you had a standard three card hand, right? You know, he probably doesn't have a deuce in the big blind, and there's only one left. So, he draws two, I draw two. I catch a jack and a deuce, so I have jacks and deuces. He bets, which tells you he drew two. He, he now has a one card draw, okay? But you can't have a good draw, because he doesn't have a deuce. We have all the deuces. So the best he could be doing is like an eight draw, right? Three, four, five, seven, eight, some shit like that. Just garbage. We raise, okay? He calls, he draws one, we pat now, right? Now he checks, we bet he can't call. Once I pat after playing it that way, looks like I have a decent good eight. He's probably drawing dead, instantly mucks the hand onto the next one. Yeah, you see, you see, there's stuff to this game and I know about it. All right, I'm coming to get him. I'm, he knows it's coming, you see him grinning? Did you see him grinning? He knew I was coming, but this time he comes with a whole crew of people now. He's got a freaking sound guy, he's got a camera guy, look. Mr. Phil Ivey. Always loves it, huh? Who loves it more than this guy? I love the attention. Yeah, you know, that's why you bring your own people. <laughs> yeah, Phil loves the attention. Huh? He loves it. Some people. I don't know. Ask him. Okay, buddy. The people got to know. The people got to know. How much did this one cost you? You know, I took a lot of shit yesterday. I know, but how much did this one cost you? 450 maybe. $450? No holes, though. No holes. There's That's not right. a single hole anywhere. You know, I got a so lot of shit this? yesterday for these holes, by the way. You did? Who gave you oh, shit? Oh, yeah. My wife says you're buying $850 shirts with holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, player hand, player hand. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, you bring this stuff. You're a bro. You just called. You just called down. Well, you know, I don't really care. I've never played this. Okay. One more. This is a. This is a message from Amanda, okay? I can't take the double dip. No, I hear you. This is different, though. This is from Amanda. Amanda watches the vlog, and she said. She's like, what happened to Phil? He's all nice and he's not annoyed. She said she liked you better when you're a little bit of a dick. Okay, I'll, I'll work on that. You work on it. Because look, even how he said that, okay, I'll, I'll work on it. She's like, oh, it's fine. I don't mind. It's okay. I'll, I'll make any adjustment for her. Oh, <laughs> what a big you are. Naughty, naughty. That's better. She likes that better. <laughs> what do you want for my life? I want a lot of things. Bet what happened you, to your shirt? I bet you do. I spill, so I, I spill water on it. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. What are you doing today? You're playing in the thousand dollar rebuy, right? Yeah. Chip leader, huh? I don't know. I didn't look into that. I'm yeah. just gonna play. Oh, uh, I'm sure you okay. looked into that. No, I did not. You have brain damage or something? I heard you were playing this event, um, the ten thousand today too. Why not? I mean, I have to win. I have to win a brace, so I have to give myself the maximum chance of um, of doing that. How does it feel to have all those people against you? Why do you, you keep backing up? Because you keep getting like closer I'm trying to, to me. Get, I'm trying to get away from you. That's Look, why. No, you're you're huh? going towards me. Okay. Hey, listen. So what are we saying? I only got a couple minutes. I know. Here, let's talk. So okay, go ahead. What's going on? Tell me what you think about all these people being against you. I don't mind. I I, I like a little adversity. It's okay. I mean, um, I hear that no one's better than five to one to win one. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, um, I guess, try to prove them wrong and win some money at the same time. That'd be nice, right? Yeah. Are you sure that's water on your shirt? What do you think it is? I don't know. Let me see. I'm gonna throw some on your shirt. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> All right, people. Here we go. End of level four. We got uh, doing good. About 118,000 double stack so far. I'll tell you about one more interesting hand. A little, little. I didn't have as many hands as this one, but I had one. This is another interesting one. Again, I had three deuces. Guy raises in the cutoff. I'm in a small blind with deuce, deuce, deuce six, ten. All right. So what would you do? That hand. All right. Pretty much any time you get trip deuces, you want to do something. Unless it goes raise call, because if it goes raise call, it means somebody has the deuce. So it's like one of the two will. So I three bet it, and now the guy calls. Now what do you do? I chose to draw two, again, and throw away the two deuces, right? And plan to snow. Like if I catch a queen and a king or whatever, I was just going to pat and bet, bet, bet. But I catch a four and an eight. So I actually make a 10, eight, six, 
smooth, I bet, he calls. Now I'm drawing a deuce three, four, six, eight. So I draw, I break the 10 and I draw to the eight. He takes one, I uh, catch a nine. So going into the last draw, I pat the nine because it's a favorite over a one card draw. He uh, takes one, river check, check, I win the pot. So my intention on the hand was to bluff it through and, and snow it, but then I caught two perfect cards. So it was like the point of sometimes just throwing the deuces away too. It's like, just in case, like this, the guy makes like some sort of hero call thinking that you have pairs. Well, I'll throw the pairs away. And then I end up with like, let's say a Jack or something. He calls me with a King or an Ace. You know what I'm saying? Eh, it makes sense. Anyway, yeah. four levels through. This is the best we've done in these limit holdings. Feel good, relaxed, let's go. Hey boys, what are you doing? Look at your little heads. <laughs> you already have a treat. Oh my God. Classic, boy. What's up, Mikey? What happened to you? What's going on? What's on? What's up with your life? I'm my life is good. Yeah, uh, Amanda says you, you seem nice now. I'm, I'm very You're happy. happy. Good, I'm good for you. Grounded. Feeling healthy? Yeah. And Looking you know what, sexy. You know what the good thing yeah. is? is I appreciate life a lot more That's than big. I used to. It's yeah. very important. Very important. Yeah. So, right. And I like this shirt choice. It's more neutral than your, you know, your previous ones. How about you, man? How are you? Oh, steaming. I played a three fifth builds of a 50K, I saw and then that. I'm at a 1500. When you walked into that 1500, <laughs> you, I never you knew I wasn't going to stay I, said, I told somebody, I said, I've never seen Daniel so pissed. <laughs> he looks so pissed. Well, you know how PLO can go. Yeah, yeah, of It's course. not fun when it, goes, when it goes ugly. But we're doing good in this one. We got right. two double stacks. So I'm eating my food right here. My man's doing the burger. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a shirt. Okay. It might not be four hundred dollars shirt, but I'll charge you like two seventy five. Here's the thing I wanted to come confess. Okay. These are actually all counterfeits. I got them in New York. So you didn't spend eight hundred and something? No, bro. come oh on. Oh my god. So you just think pretended to be big <laughs> pimping. You think I'm crazy. You're a broke ass? Sure. He's a broke ass hey. boy like he's a big high baller. Smoking, smaller. Smoking mirrors, baby. What do you gotta get you is those balance you got pants pant fucking shoes. Hundred percent. Have you seen the Kim Kardashian? I can't even pant do shoes? those. I can't do the pants shoes. You're gonna I'm gonna get you some pants shoes. They're gonna be heels. <laughs> if I come in here and with We're gonna pants make shoes, you walk in heels. Floating like I'm on a moon or something. <laughs> Good luck, brother. All right, buddy. See Thanks, ya. Danny. <laughs> Nothing. Twenty years. Let's see if I come. My man Josh R here, here. No idea what he's doing right now. Just he's picking car random cards yeah. from his hand. Let me throw this one away. I don't know. <laughs> 20 years in the making. Yeah. 20 years. Like a fine wine. Exactly. Let's see what you can do here with this one, fine wine. Let's see what I can do here. So I, I know how to squeeze. No, you like don't. You, guys. you know how to squeeze? Yep. It looks like he doesn't know when how to squeeze. When you squeeze a queen, it doesn't get much better. It doesn't get much better. <laughs> you can. I could have a pair. How could you be you squeezing could, that even I more? I just told him a six. I could have a pair. You could have a pair. Right. I never saw any. You know what? I just. I, I'm just gonna call because you said I could have a pair. Good. That's that's why. Oh, it works. You fucking lied to you, bro. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> <laughs> you I could have a pair. I could have a pair. Welcome to the table. Welcome to the table. Come on in. Okay, strap. Can we bring us? Can we get five more just like this guy right here? <laughs> I could have a pair. All right. Apparently, my man here brings something from Toronto. What do we got? Yes. So AHL Fantasy League, as you know, had a rough time with COVID. So the last two years, there was only one team that made the final both years. Yeah. Daniel's Cheap Thieves. That's so correct. So Bob and Zach wanted me to present you a congratulatory oh God, trophy like a second place that award. you were going to love. Oh, my God. Good. Another one of these Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. This okay. is what Josh did to me. This is the sickest the troll. The final both How the years. hell, Bob man? Zach said, Josh sent me one of these that said second runner-up to the runner-up. And now I got, look, because I two years in a row I lost in the finals. And it's got 20, 20, 21, nice. second place. Nice. All right. Now you got a whole. Came all the way from Toronto. I appreciate it. He's got oh my whole God. Mantle. Mantle. And you thought oh, yeah. you were the only one that thought of that. Look at this. Second. Throw this one back. <laughs> all right. End of level six. So this is interesting. I feel like overall in this tournament, I've run really quite good overall. The problem is the run good happened in the first three, four levels and the run bad was in the last two and the last two is worth way more like because we're playing higher stakes so we're back to 60,000 right now how you doing bud we're back to 60k right now 
and uh, you know, like I said, so basically overall, run good uh, at the lower limits, and then in the bigger st stages, I haven't, you know, won uh, won a bunch of hands, but that's okay. You know, that's the thing. Very very high fluctuation game when you play triple draw. You got to make some hands, and that's what we'll do in the next two hours. There was an argument, and I want to ask the people at Poker Row to vote on this. Okay. Um, I made bets with several players, and the bet was, this is exactly how I described the bet. I said that I'm going to win a bracelet this year. I'm going to bet that I'm going to win a bracelet this year. And they said, you got it. Now, does the World Series of Poker your count? No. Of course it does. Why? I said I'm going to win a bracelet this, this year. year. This year. I understand that you say it this year, but people don't think about it like well, that. that. That's not my problem. I know it is. I, it's I, not I, your problem. I think you want some public to view in on it. I don't think you want to ask for it. For, I'm not for asking you. You're, 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 hey, you're, hey, you're means nothing hey, to me, listen. By the way. Hey, okay, you know I'm. You know. <laughs> he's such a dick all the time, <laughs> <Dick>. right? <laughs> this is going to be loud. No, I love her. She knows I love her. All right. Well, yikes. This is what we got right now. 23. We were big pimping, chip leading, 120k, and then after the break, uh, do three, four, five, caught an eight, made eight, five, three-way pot, four, four bets pre, and then in the end, Josh, made, I folded, I bet he raised and showed a seven. So now we have uh, like five big bets. Triple draw, swingy man. Damn it! All right, comeback time. Alright, so we played another pot. This time I had to do three, five, seven. Against Josh. Second dry pair of fives. Squeeze it out. And last dry pair of sevens. Pair of sevens, no good. So we're down to 14,000. Turn it on if you what? If I make a wheel, yeah. then I'm gonna, I want to make sure the camera sees <laughs> Okay, yeah, we will see that. I haven't made one yet, but Jesus, now's about time. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is the last draw, right? Okay. I need, I, I mean, that was my draw just now. So I get one, one card. One. He takes one card. All right, and we got what? How much left? One bet left? All right. We're gonna squeeze together, people. <laughs> Can we hold the camera? Oh. No, I got it now. I figured it out. Just tilt it down. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the draw. It's very pretty. Okay, and we decide if we're gonna bet this or not. Okay. I gotta go dig deeper. <laughs> He's lost his Check. mind. He's lost his mind. <laughs> it's not good to show your cards before, you know. Yeah, I think you win. <laughs> Obviously, I made it since you said it. Oh, what's going on? Man? This is insane. The exact same hand I got against you. Fucking. <laughs> you gotta play better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little Jesus. button up at the top corner that you says learn the rules. Yeah, learn seven, the rules, right? You need to read that. I think I pretty much followed the rules on that one. All right. We got 4K left. Hey, buddy. Good luck, all right? Good you bet 4,000. I'm going on for 4,500. This is our hand. Okay, that's our hand right now. I kind of want to put in like the four back. and pull out a pity. One. Everybody draw the one. One more draw after this, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? It was fucking 50 50 again. It was 50 50 again. No, 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 no. Hang on. I got it. I got it. Check. Checks. All right, I'm not even going to look at it. So let's see. Checks. Eight. Oh. Unbelievable bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I had two, four, five, seven, two, three, five, seven, two, three, five, seven. Two, three, five, seven. Laura, we need a dick. Penalty <laughs> ensuing on the next tournament. You need a what? Penalty for the next tournament. Oh, shut your face. I'll give you a penalty right now. Okay, so, yeah. My last four hands went like this. Deuce three, four, five. Made an eight. Yeah. Lost on the river. He made a seven. Then, 
Deuce three, five, seven against Josh. Dealt three draws at it. Stugatz. And then my last hand. Oh, then I had it again. I had another against a uh, thing. Three straight, like really beautiful seven draws and ended up with sevens, king, and whatever else I made. Fives or something. That was a fucking tilting. So, holy smokes, man. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's been like unbelievable. And today it felt like there was hope, you know? I started off with a double stack. It was like, all right, we're moving. It's just, you know, we know that the storm's coming because like it always does, the swing, but man, this was like cold-blooded. I don't even know, man, I don't even know. Like, I can't believe I'm out. <laughs> so it's gonna be the end of that one. Tomorrow is like a shitty day too. Like a 1500 horse at 11, which I might play my first 11 a.m., but not at 11. And then there's a no limit six max, three, three K or some shit. Fuck me, man. I don't know what's happening. It's insane. You fucking see it. You know, I'm fucking showing you all the all in. Stop telling me about this. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I'll lose my mind if I hear a Daniel, Daniel, Daniel in, my, in the comments. Holy shit, bro. Okay, that's the end of this one. See you, peeps. Bye. You know I